How you doing? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to Grayscale. I have not done one of these in quite a while. So bear with me, alright? Uh, I guess I'll play around with a little atmospheric perspective on this one. We're going to use really complex tools. One of them is a paper towel. And I will just dab like so. And we'll plop in some gray. And so I stop cutting into you guys. I'll just uh, do one of these numbers here. Getting quite a mangled mess here. Sponge. Let's dip into solid black. I'm gonna need some more black than what I have. Let's put some trees in here. Oh, let's start off maybe right on here. Get a little thicker here as it goes down. Something like that. You guys can do them any way you see fit. And this along with the paper, obviously it soaks up the uh, it soaks up the uh, paint pretty good. Oh, there, something like so. All right. Got a little liner brush here. And here we go. Start off wide and branch it off. Once again, I say we're going to do the branches. Wide at the bottom, they kind of squirm out different areas As you can see, you can get pretty involved with it. Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, 
it's totally dry. All right, I'm gonna grab a two inch wide flat brush here. I have vegetable glycerin, okay. Um, some of you may know what that is. All right, but let's see if I can get it in focus here. It's uh, like this stuff here. All right, there we go. So let's think about, it's water-based, all right. And um, think of it as like liquid white or liquid clear. It kind of goes on like that. It'll prolong the drying time of your acrylic paint. This is why you need to kind of dry because once you put it on, all right, it's going to take a minute for your acrylic to dry. And we'll just put it right on there. It goes on kind of like liquid clear too. All right, it's pretty thick stuff. And if you can't find exactly where you put it all you gotta do really is hold it up to the to the light it's very shiny it does dry obviously but it takes a little while to dry and this is great for blending and whatnot make sure you put it on pretty good or you cover everything that you want to cover with it. The method to my little man is adding this stuff. All right. Now let's go with a little bit of white and yellow mix. I'm gonna put that in the center, right up in here, and go outward. Almost like a traditional oil painting. Okay, a little white, a little yellow. A lot of back and forth here, as you can see. You kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here, right? You see that? Because it thins it out. A little more yellow that will really shine through here. As it dries, it'll set, and um, well, you guys know how it goes. Put a little, a little bit of yellow in, in there. We'll brighten up that front a little bit more. Maybe from upper corner up there, up in here. Keep that a little brighter. Just in one spot, right up in here. We'll brighten that. Just like that. And you let it sit. Just like so. Now my overhead lights makes it look a little too bleached here. But as you can see with the shadow of my hand, it's not as overpowering as you think. It's just the lights doing that. Alright. But basically, that's it. What you're seeing uh, right now. Alright. Now if you put too much on, you get some that kind of runs a little bit. But that's okay. At the cross in front of you here, wipe this on. Uh, this brush off if it starts to run <clears throat> if you put too much on or whatever you can always take a soft brush like a makeup brush and stir it the circular motions all around it's usually on the outside but that's okay What we're about to do next is add some of the foliage. All right. That might be all the glycerin I really need. A couple different shades of green. I got a number 10 round brush here. And I want my green, this green to be a little darker. Okay. And we're going to pop in some leaves here and there, around the trees here. Mm. Like so. I 
I will obviously lighten up the green as we move along here, of course. Some of the green will turn into bushes, no doubt. This type of painting anybody can do. Very simple. It has quite a, uh, an effect. Dealing with light and shade. Alright. Put a few of those in here. Like that. Just tapping in some color. Don't necessarily have to be everywhere. I'm putting some blue and some brown in with my green. I want something even darker in, in uh, certain spots. So it's blue, actually it's blue and sienna and green. Pretty dark and get to set some of these leaves back a bit. Don't necessarily want to get rid of all of it. And let's put some shrub shrubbery around here. Up around in these parts here. And we'll bring some of that up in here. Some of it around in here too. some stronger these give it a nice upward push once I highlight it they make a lot more sense now I can use for a little bit of highlight I can use some of the yellow here and maybe mm, we'll try out maybe a little bit red in here see what it looks like and turn it upside down and then let's give it a try. Somebody's trying to contact me, but I don't got the time right now. I usually do these tapings at night where I don't get bothered as much. 
Okay, I'm going to work some red in here. Slight hint of white. And we're going to pop some red. Ooh. Pop some red in there like that. Get some more. As you can see, even with me messing around here, you give a very pleasant look to your to your painting. Add a little white on top of this red so some of the highlights can catch. Some back here. But I think it kind of makes a little sense to you now of how it's going. And this is acrylic, so once some of this dries. You can add more and more to it. Okay. All right. Highlight some of that blue. Get some blue here. A little white, that blue. We'll do the same thing with the blue. some of these um liven up some of these leaves here get some bright green here just here in there really brighten it up so it sticks out a little bit Put it everywhere. We're gonna throw some little sunburst here and there. And take some of this white and yellow. We'll pat some of it in here. Let's get a little yellow in that. Glycerin is still on here, so it's still pretty slick. Put 
a little, a little shading and a little bright spots here and there. They're dipping a little bit of white in there. circle type of thing all right as I'm checking it out I might want to maybe add a little little bit of color to some of the trunks so I'm just using the green and the brown if I'm lighten it up I add a little white it gives me that gray that kind of wood gray so a little bit of white with the um, brown and green will do it. And here and there, and you can put some up in there. Usually for the trees are a little closer. Too many of them. If you don't want to, just you know, little highlights here and there. All right. I can do the same thing with branches. Thinner brush. You highlight some of the individual branches uh, going through there. So let's get a cutesy little liner here. Going into the sienna. Going into the green. Get some white going on here. Mix that in there with it. Now I'm going to have to obviously loosen up the paint a little bit to get it to flow. This is not a smooth paper. It is canvas. Don't need too many. Just highlight a couple. You need a lot more white. You gotta brighten it up a little more. I thought I had more white in here. Don't look like I do. Nope. You need a lot more white. Excuse me again. glycerin still on here it's going to take quite a while for some of this to dry off okay there. so don't be too uh, discouraged working with it not too bad Okay, let's take this stuff off and see what we got here. This painting is not very difficult to do.
obviously I have tape on behind this. It's the only way I can probably get away with doing something like this. And because the glycerin is so shiny, it's shining off of the uh, the overhead light here. Let me see if I can put some shade on the subject here. Block some of that light. Uh, let's see if I do it. Let's see if I put it right here. Can I cover some of that? Not too much. Yeah, there you go. That'll work just like so. There. That's what she looks like. Alright. Nice little woodland path. Very quick. Doesn't take too long to do. Very, you know. But you can use, um, if you don't have the glycerin, you can just use the uh, lotion water or whatever. And uh, you pretty much do, um, do it just like this. Alright. This whole thing probably wouldn't take me 30 minutes to do. Very effective. Okay. And I did it with acrylic and not oils. Alright. But it's the vegetable glycerin that helps do it though. Alright. So. Just wanted to show it to you. See how bright it is, right? That's because the glycerin is not done uh, evaporating. It's going to take a little while. But that's what it can do for you gives you the effect of uh, oil paint. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoy this version of Grayscale. I know it's uh, it's not one of my longest ones, but that's, that's okay. Uh, very simple painting to do. And I hope that you try it. I would love to see your renditions of it. And I shall see you again much sooner than I have been. And uh, you guys take care and enjoy.